right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Theophilus Beans and this is Flint Shamba. All right, so we are Team Fox by Robotics all the way from Zimbabwe. We have come up with a solution, a robotic solution which we have named Jinda. Jinda comes from a local name place in our own area, which means Jinda Ramambo. This shows how this robotic solution is the guardian of the environment, making it the next world's best Earth ally. Right, so Jinda is something that we have developed after having figured out the fact that 5.6 of Zimbabwe's GDP actually comes from mining, and 70% of that is what we call artisanal miners or illegal miners. So the problem now comes when you find out that these people have no one to regulate and care about their health conditions as they work. What do we do? We do more research and find out that children's health is being affected. How? Children are being born underweight. That becomes a problem. We have issues such as lung cancer as well as other diseases and we've actually attended funerals of our community members who passed away having just collapsed. We go for the health institutions and find out that what's really going on and we figure out we have three deadly problems carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and methane what do we do we come up with a solution a robotic solution ginger who is there to cater for all those three with three sensors so that it can go in the mine and figure out what's really going on now it has three primary functions detection notification as well as regulation of those ambient air conditions inside those mines why are we caring about the mines in zimbabwe we have a wange mine area this is the source of electricity in zimbabwe and this is what it means so electricity is really important for everyone globally but as zimbabweans for us to get such kind of attention and for us to get such kind of resources like electricity it means we need those people down there working but if there is no one taking care of their health condition then the right to life is not it's um, being preserved, right? So this becomes an SDG issue, which we need to talk about in this particular house. Now, we also want to cater for how we have come up and discovered that these illegal artisanal miners are the key stakeholders in this house. Let's talk about the problems. Number one, we are talking about global warming. Two, climate change, the issue of land pollution. I'll explain land pollution when I speak about the activated carbon. Um, on this robotic solution as well as the issue of death and health conditions. The best part of this robot is how we manage to skip the issue of activated carbon. The purification process of this robotic solution uses activated carbon. But then activated carbon in Zimbabwe is very expensive and we've come up with a traditional method after having consulted from our elders how this is really done to get the same effect. What do we use? Banana peels. How are they used? These banana peels have to be fried they also have to be crushed and mixed with lemonade and water. Soon after such a rigorous process, what do we do? We get the charcoal and put it in this robotic solution. What is the result? The same activated carbon at a cheap price. Therefore, land pollution has been solved by such a robotic solution to the world. Now, this robotic solution does not only apply in Zimbabwe. Yes, it's a global solution. Let's speak of countries such as Botswana, Chile, United States of America, or even take here where we are as well, ladies and gentlemen. All these areas have mines and have industries that are producing such kind of pollutants to our environment and yet here we are solving global issues with a robotic solution not just a prototype but something that is ready to save the world right i also want to talk about what you are talking about the issue of um costing this robotic solution costs 515 dollars but we also want you to note that for every batch of 50 of these, we'll be having resources which we'll be using as our equipment. For example, the soldering guns as well as other equipment. And this equipment has been allocated a budget of 500 US dollars for a batch of 50. At the end of six months, ladies and gentlemen, we are targeting a profit of up to $11,250, which is a very good deal for this robotic solution on a global market. We also want to tell you of our key partners, Girls in STEM, the Environmental Management Authority of Zimbabwe, ladies and gentlemen, who are the people who care about the environment of Zimbabwe. We also want to tell you about the Wange coal mining area, which I have mentioned in my story. I also want to tell you about Econet Wireless, which is there to enable us to be able to communicate in Zimbabwe. This robotic solution is capable of sending communication signals, as he will explain. Now, I'll let him explain the functionality of this robotic solution. Okay, this uh, robotic solution it is uh, very simple. What we just have to do is we have to switch it on. After we have switched it on, here we have three gas sensors, each uh, for um, 
one for carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and methane. So what it it uh, does after it is turned on, it then senses for carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and methane. If it finds any of the three gases, it then turns on the fan, then start sucking that gas, and that gas is purified uh, by the process of um, yeah exact that uh, yeah so from 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 them that that uh, clean gas is then let out through these holes here by by the back then after this robot has yes has uh, sensed those gases it then sends a message to the mobile phone of um of uh the levels of each gas and then it also sends a gps location um then moving on we have we have three uh sensors here by the front and we and we have three by the back as well so what it does this robot can move without anyone controlling it so if it is blocked here by the front right sensor it then reverses and turns to the left. If it is blocked on both sides, it has to ring a buzzer and send a message that it is stuck. After this robot is done clearing the whole mine, it then returns back to the surface. I will uh, leave this to Theo so that she can conclude. Right, so talking about the conclusion, this robotic solution has been made for these functions, but we also want to let you know other functions that are aligned with this robot. Let's talk about mineral detection. This robot is already going down to the mines, and you don't want people when they get there to start looking for where is the mineral, right? So this robotic solution can be compacted to be a multifaceted robot and have those kind of sensors so that it can tell exactly where the minerals are. Number three, let's talk about risk management. We have a case of South Africa whereby they are having issues with miners currently who are underground, right? And then the government is finding it difficult to send help down there. We are saying our robot can be very helpful in the current status quo because it can go down there and offer help. It can make sure that the regulations of A in that mine where these miners are are very much regulated and it can also help in communication. Fit it with the mic, fit it with the camera, you know what exactly is going down there with such a small robot. This robotic solution is the perfect size. This is the perfect robot because we want something that is cheap and affordable to the people. Remember we said that this robotic solution is meant for the artisanal miners in Zimbabwe as well as the globe at large. So these are the people who are our target market and it should not be so expensive that they cannot afford it. We are Team Zimbabwe. Once again, I'm Theophilus Beans and this is Flynn Shamba and we are very proud to represent our country, Zimbabwe. Thank you.